Oh my god, stupid lizard gets munchies and eats all my trash mother. Quack, 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 quack. Duck's opinion. What's up guys, Duck Opinion here. And um, I think in this particular part of the this let's play we should take a really good look at the town now because we really start expanding i've uh, made a a coal power plant because my buddy told me he has tons of coal that i can take from him and i moved my sewage down here and we're just going to move all the crappy smelly stuff over here that we won't won't want to see and uh we changed it over here to make it where more industry can thrive but we don't need much industry so we're just keeping what we can over here and actually let me go ahead and cut this off and then just keep in the rest, like, you know, kick-ass little houses instead. But I want to take more of a look at the actual where we live. So most all of it, besides just a few residential area, which I think, since we are having a high demand, I'm going to keep there. But I think maybe down here, since we are having a demand for commercial, we can go ahead and, uh, we can go ahead and knock some of this stuff out. And make it commercial through here. Just down here though. We don't want to overdo it on that commercial shit. We want people to come buy stuff. But we don't overdo it. So there we have it. And since we did that. We got to take the parks out of this area. <laughs> I think that. I don't know. That probably actually helps them. But. But I have to take parks out of areas if they're if they're not being used in that sense. So what's up, Dr. Maxis guy? He's gonna pay me three thousand this time. And hey, my buddy said he unlocked the tornado. It's pretty cool. I haven't unlocked none of that stuff. So for him this time, I have to make him get a certain amount of renew points, and I have to have him arrest three criminals. And for him to arrest three criminals, I need him to get to a a lot higher point than he is right now. He needs to get 500 newer points and we only have 100 so far because I have to make this turbo garage to unlock him to be able to to be able to arrest people so I'm not going to be able to do that one for quite a, some time I mean I'd have to have like a lot of sick people and just like make him go heal sick people like all the time just go do this go do this so that should knock down the, the demand maybe we'll just have a big old shopping strip right back here just because there's a lot of people back there so I have like one big strip and I have to destroy some buildings anyway but this is gonna piss me off this water tower I don't think we need it anymore we have tons of tons of water gosh I'm building buildings for days am I uh am I fucking up here like why is it such a building it's abandoned why is there so much of buildings to be abandoned when can I prove I'm almost there. I need ten. I need um. I don't know what I need. I need a, a better. I need to prove a rating of seventy or better. No, I'm not doing that. I'm usually good at my ratings. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing so great on this one. But like I said, this is just a starter town. This is just a starter town. So what I was saying at the beginning is I want to have more of an in-depth look at what's going on in this town. So we have some stuff being built. Uh, we're trying to get the land value up to the second land value. Um, this one's doing a lot better. It actually, actually looks good. We have a hotel in the back here. It's doing well. And buildings are starting to get more uprising. They're starting to get more thicker. And um, where's the shops in this town? So we have to build more shops. People are demanding more shops. When we come over here, though, we have some very big and established condos. Like these condos are huge like the Empire could use some more parks neighbor can use some more parks so like they're really beckoning me for more parks before they can upgrade apparently so let's not be mean let's give them what they want there's some parks want some more parks to go of that booyah so add some more parks, get their bubbles floating more, better. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the one thing we're really taking a look at right now. My gambling hall, it's not doing bad. Uh, this is the first time I actually looked at it. It's doing pretty good, so maybe we should expand it a little bit. These guys are like really feeling it, so maybe we'll put in a 
a nickel slot place over here. A little nickel spot place. A little sign that's like, hey, we're beast mode. I don't know about the sign. Sign isn't really doing too good. But how about a blackjack table and a nickel place spot? Now I probably can't put a sign anymore, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Put a little sign on this far side. Be like, yeah. Gambling. And now maybe. Maybe this gambling place can do a little bit better. I put down some stuff where profit was from. A lot of tourists come here. It's in a good spot, I think, too. Because, like, the tourists, they'll come from, like, where the boat is. Or where the uh, train is. Come down this lane where all this uh, shopping is. You can come over here to the gambling house. Leads you into the main central shopping area. And then a lot of just the houses in the back. A lot of the protective stuff like the hospital, like the fire station, and the police station are all near the shops. So, you know, if anyone tries to steal stuff. Um, I would probably, if I did another police station, put it here because it is harder for the police to get into the industrial area, which is where the most crime is. But, all in all, no buts about it. <laughs> I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing pretty good. We aren't at the 70 yet, though. But the happiness is going up. We will reach that 70 we will unlock some more stuff, but it seems that there is a demand now for more working areas. So I want to work on putting in more education. Classrooms are full, so people really want education. Maybe I want to put maybe, maybe a library. I could probably put a library right on this end. And so now people can get a little bit smarter. And also, I want to add maybe another classroom. Because there's two, like, the students are just too many. So I add another classroom on this back side. Which pretty much opens this up to be this full spot is what, where this is going to be. It's like the full spot. So there we go. Um, my buddy said that he will work on getting the educational stuff unlocked for his next upgrade because I'm not going to get an upgrade until I get 30. And I am close, but... But we did, didn't we? What did I get? Oh, yeah, I got the tourism stuff. Okay. So... Or did I? I'm really... I'm confused right now. What did I get? Alright, I did get the educational and the utilities. Okay. So... I'm able to, once I teach enough students, that's what it is. So I put the extra classroom there so we'll be able to teach more students per day. And then I'll be able to unlock the community college and the high school. So we're getting up there. I need to get 500 students per day and that's 800. And what I put down maxed it to 500. So I guess more than anything, let me go ahead and just put down one more that should make it go past Oh, it's close. This is going to be a very, very big middle school. Or a very big grad school. So there. Now I can officially build a high school. And so, let's actually, let's do that. Let's go ahead. I like to kind of keep them spread out a little bit. But let's go ahead and build a high school somewhere. Let's put it down here by the library. Booyah. So we now have a high school, so let's maybe add some more classrooms to this high school on the far side. Let's add, uh, let's add a couple more buses. And that did take down a lot of money on how much I make, but the thing about it is education is very important. I want, this to, I want this to be where everyone goes for education, pretty much. That's what I'm making this town out to be. Because I just wanted to get out the way. Education is quite annoying, and I can now officially put down my quote-unquote mayor's house. So I want to put it probably over here just to really inspire people to, you know, just upgrade. Inspire people to have better lives, you know. Now that there's a school over here, I definitely want to put down more parks. I want to be able to have people like, fuck yeah, we can. And uh, not even more parks, but like better parks. I think this park over here is kind of a little dinky little thing. So let's throw down something more, more bigger more massive like they were mad about that but that got it back up it got them back up it got everyone look at look at this region this whole entire region look at this expanding 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 they're all expanding now 
because we got the the mayor lives here now. We have a school here now. We have amazing parks here now. So they're all expanding. We have some third level land value stuff coming over here. We have one of the we have amazing condos. I mean, look at these condos being built over here. Like this is becoming a really wealthy area. I mean, look at that. That is like the tops of the top stuff, the tops of like the most expensive stuff that you can actually build. Look at that one. That thing is beast mode. It can only go up one more higher. It's like complete beast mode. These are just, it's just like I'm saying, like stuff is really progressing. And I see like, you know, we're starting to really fill the city. There isn't too much more land, but I have conserved some. Like the way I'm doing it, I have conserved some land. So it's saying we need more jobs. People are like, we need more jobs. We took, that, them took our jobs. So of course we're going to allow people to have more jobs. Of course I would not keep people from their jobs. You know, People need to work. People need to make money. And uh, we are going to supply them that here in my town, in my land, in my world that I rule like a boss. Need a little quick revive. I haven't even played that much zombies. But my girl has. She has like really gotten into zombies. So I've been humming a lot of the zombie theme songs. Looks like a mass expansion of Dawn. It ain't that damn big. Oh, I didn't mean to actually put that road there. I wanted to actually stretch this one out. And then have that one go down. Then have that go all the way up. You're trying to expand it just that little bit more. You guys hear that dog? There's like a dog barking outside of my house right now. Ain't nobody got time for dogs barking outside my damn house. Derp, derp. All right, so let's put down more places for people to work. That's what they're asking for. That's what we're going to place down. And while I'm here, I'm going to place down some more places for them not to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so pretty much, I mean, I don't know. We need to start finishing all the roads, I guess. I don't know. We have tons of just, I don't know what to do with myself type scenarios. Why don't we do this? We'll stick to that right now. We'll load this up with some of this. We will drop the commercial over here and just make it housing for right now. I said drop the commercial. And we'll see how people thrive, whether they like it. Where they hate it, I guess technically there'll be only one way to find out. I have a total of, yeah, that's a lot per hour. So there. So we have a quarter million dollars. We're making $10,000 an hour. We have going on 25,000 people in our city and growing by the by the month as you can see throughout all the months I mean, we lose some here and there but we've been growing significantly and we're just doing a great job let's see what my buddy has to say now he just said he unlocked the tornado so he's just doing he's doing work but we're, we're past our time we're gonna keep expanding we're gonna keep growing and eventually see if this whole city will just be this huge epicness but soon we need to start a new town so next episode we're gonna check out our buddy's town we're gonna expand the rest of this episode or the span the rest of this town and then we're gonna move on I think it's time to start making Harley's world, which I'm thinking we might make her world a casino world. We'll see, you know, we have the uh, education over here. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to have to specialize something in the next world. You let me know what we should do in the next, in the next, uh, in the next city. What should be its specialization? I'm thinking casino, but you guys let me know. Talk to you guys later. Dusk and fly. Peace.